Aries, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for October 18th through the 24th, and I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. So let's see, Aries. <clears throat> The overall energy for the reading, the tower. Um, something's happening, and something's happening, I feel like it's coming from your past there in terms of there's been some pretty big resistance on your part towards something, and I feel like it's starting to, uh, you're starting to maybe release that, maybe not have a choice, but release it, and it's creating some change, some drastic changes here for you. Um, I don't know, we'll see. In the recent past, the Nine of Wands, the Fool, the Four of Pentacles. So, there's something you're stubbornly, you're showing up in this energy of stubbornly wanting to do something. Really feeling like I should go for this situation, or I should do this, or there, there's like a, a burning desire to do something. But, I see you stopping yourself from doing that. Um, either you found some... Uh, blockages along the way, blaming it on the weather that one day, or blaming it, blaming it on who knows what exterior circumstances, when in fact it was all coming from you. Uh, you basically stopping yourself, because whatever came your way, you could have still done it, whatever this is. I don't know what this is though, uh, but it's definitely an urge to do something and you stopping yourself. In the current situation, the Knight of Pentacles, the Temperance, the Empress. Huh. Uh, I kind of get your energy heading towards another energy, slowly but surely. I don't even feel you're doing it consciously, but whatever it is that you're doing, either working on yourself a lot or whatever, um, kind of gets you on this path towards there's another energy that's shown up here that seems to be very important to you. Um, it seems like it's going to take time, it's going to take patience, it's going to take healing, but you'll get there. That's the path that you've set yourself upon. And again, I feel like consciously you're not even realizing that you're doing that because, you know, you're waking up, you're going, who knows, at your job, you're not, you know, you're doing things that seem unrelated to this energy. Uh, but they are related. So, in the uh, immediate future, the King of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Interesting. I see love showing up and I see you turning your back to it. Kind of like an instinct. Kind of like that's what you're taught to do. Um, and I know some of you will look at this and be like, what? I'm looking for love. I've been looking for love all my life. How can I turn my back? Because you're doing it energetically. You're not doing it physically necessarily, but I see the energy of love popping up and that whole idea of eh, it's kind of uncomfortable here. So I'm going to go in the other direction. I'm not used to love showing up like this in my life. So by love. Um, but there is a page of pentacles here, which is telling me that maybe you're learning something out of this. I don't know. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's clarify. Let me clarify the tower. <laughs> um, eight of wands, nine of cups, the lovers. That's definitely movement in, again, this situation, this empress energy. It's, it's that other energy that you're seeking here. Um, not necessarily actively, but it's kind of like, again, all of everything that you're doing, kind of setting you on this path towards this other energy, which creates you and them, the lovers. Uh, I'm not sure if this person is physically in your life, if they were, 
and for how long i have no idea but i do see movement happening and that creates the tower moment because it's like oh shit, it's actually happening it, it's kind of coming in as a surprise so the tower doesn't necessarily have to be oh my god the end of the world is coming it can be just a sudden situation that surprises you let's just put it that way um but it's good it feels good it feels like there's action there's probably communication possibly um which makes you and them feel good all right let's see here the nine of wands in the recent past the empress the strength card the devil yeah, there's been some resistance here. The Empress definitely was in your life for quite some time. But there's there's this... When you're all in, or when you want to be all in, they're not ready. They're rejecting this. When they're all in, you're not ready. You're rejecting this. So it's kind of like this exchange of energies between the two of you where you don't seem to match necessarily. Now this, what came here with the tower, seems to be matching. But it seems like there's been quite a path for you to to get those energies to match of i want this oh i want this too you know um it's kind of normal the way it shows up because when this kind of situation pops up as something feeling very intense very strong it brings out a lot of stuff for you to look at and for them and i feel like that's what happened that's why the rejection happened to bring out a lot of stuff for the other person being rejected um, and for the person that did the rejection too. Interesting. Let's see the fool in the recent past. The moon, the page of pentacles, the wheel of fortune. My God, but you felt something at a deep, deep, deep level. And I feel like you kept it secret. You kept it like the intensity that you felt with was never really revealed. You're almost like teaching yourself to shut the hell up about it, you know, uh, which didn't do justice to you, basically. So that would have been your lesson to learn. Um, this changed, though. This changed for the better in terms of maybe reaching to that deep level and acknowledging how you feel at least because i do see a change here and then after that that change happened the energy start to settle down a little fall into a place of balance more uh let's see the knight of pentacles in the current situation the four of cups the nine of pentacles the three of wands see there's an inner knowing somewhere inside of you that you are on this path towards this person that whatever it is that you're doing you're doing for yourself but it's going to lead you in this direction so during this path yeah you're gaining a lot of independence a lot of strength a lot of i'm working on myself i'm doing good look at me um you're kind of bummed out that again somewhere inside of you you know that it may lead you to this person energy here other energy so because you're not there yet and who knows when you're going to get there that kind of bumps you out apparently let's do the temperance card page of cups six of pentacles four of swords this is such such a good ass energy because again in the past i see kind of the same energies but being in a place of chaos and now those which are good energies the connection that's felt here is very good however when it feels intense and people really come from a place of their own wounding it's going to be a shit show so i feel like that that's what happened in the past and now in the current situation things are starting to settle down a little um energies are starting to be more grounded feel more not chaotic anymore but I feel like you're just at the beginning of that, basically. You know? Let's do the Empress. In the current situation. The world, the Seven of Wands, the Two of Cups. It feels like they do not have resistance towards this anymore. You know, they're allowing 
for emotions, the real emotions to come to surface. And the real emotions are these, the two of cups. Their resistance is dropping towards, ah, I don't want to be with you, I don't want to do this, blah, blah, blah. And they're falling into this two of cups, this desire for things to... So it's like them opening the door, you opening the door, the energy is finally kind of meeting halfway, you know? Where in the past, it feels like where they were just about to meet halfway, one just kind of went the opposite direction. Now it's starting to look like more subtle. Let's do the King of Cups in the immediate future. Six of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Wands. There is a soul connection that's popping up here, either for you or for them. I have no idea for who. It's here. I don't know if it's here now or it will pop up. It will show up with love uh, and the potential for commitment and all of the. Um, it's not tied up to this. I kind of get a sense that this is already here somehow, but it's starting to look more or to shape up more in the direction of commitment. Um, let's do the Seven of Swords. Uh, I see you carrying love for this energy here. However, you still want to kind of slip away from it. You still want to kind of turn your back from it. Um, Cause I have this in the background and I know you have these energies in the background here and they have nothing to do with the situation. So it feels like almost you want to stay loyal to these energies. That's why you don't want to say yes to this necessarily, but the way you want to get out, it's not to you. It feels like it's coming from a loving place, but you're kind of trying to escape it. Kind of trying to no, 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 no. Cause you know, like trying to avoid the truth here, which the truth is you're probably committed to this situation, which even though it seems like it's just energetical, you're somehow tied up to this. Maybe that's your reason. I don't know why necessarily. I kind of see it like this because I have the cards in front of me. For you, maybe you have another truth to the situation, but I see you wanting to exit. So whatever truth that is, just be truthful, you know? You are, that's how you come from a loving place. Not by trying to manage their emotions or whatever. You know? I see your intent to come from a good place here. Wanting to pull out. But the way you pull out doesn't seem necessarily right to me here. So, let's do the Page of Pentacles in the immediate future. The Three of Swords, the Hierophant, the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you're caught up in this little bit of a triangle here. This soul situation that, again, I kind of feel like it's present, but it's not, it's starting to build up more and more and more. And this past situation that you started for quite some time here, that's a, it's tied up to your soul, basically. And even if it's not present, you're still kind of in it, energetically. So I do see you going through a little bit of a loss energy, a little bit of pain, probably over this because I see you pulling out. I don't know. Whatever comes out here, again, try to be truthful, not try to think about their emotions and their, not to say that, oh, let's hurt them because, you know, but I feel like they're going to get hurt anyway. So you might as well be honest with yourself and with them. Um, somebody's going to get hurt all the time. And if we were to go by, let's manage everybody's emotions, we would put ourselves last, basically. You know, we wouldn't be truthful with ourselves. So, let's see what the universe has. The Ten of Swords, the Strength card, the Three of Swords. Yeah, it feels defeating. It feels like, oh my God, I'm losing. It, it, it kind of, I kind of get the sense that you're going through this uh, change. Not sure if you've lost this, which you are experiencing at an energetic level, and then this comes, and then losing this. Should you? Would you? It hurts. I don't know. Um, 
but the whole process is that of loss basically and it's something that's being brought up to the surface for you to take a look at whatever happens here so that's what i have hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye